Hello everybody, Rich UX from richandniche.com here with a very powerful webinar style video. It's going to be a bit of a longer one. I'm certainly not gonna rush this and you're not gonna to wanna to rush, rush this either. So if you don't have the time right now, just turn this video off, wait for later. Come to this video when you are really ready to listen, maybe even take some notes and if you're ready to understand the full gamut of why I do what I do, how I do what I do, and the path to get there, this is the video for you. So this video is titled how to become a freelance full stack marketer. I'm going to break this entire profession down. I'm going to share how much money I've made. I'm going to show screenshots. I'm going to tell you the major benefits of this in depth so you can really decide if this is the career for you because this is a very unique career. It's a very creative choice to become a freelance full stack marketer and therefore there's a bit of a risk, but I actually think that risk is highly mitigated based on culture right now. And I think this is the strongest career decision you can make right now. And I think so many people should be reconsidering their professions right now and move into marketing Simply based on the growth in social media, I think anyone could understand why that might be smart. And I'm going to put a number on it. I'm going to say that this is a career where $100,000 is very realistic. Not in your first year. It's going to be very hard in your first year. You need a full year of managing clients um, to hit that sort of a number. But very attainable. And as you're gonna hear a little bit more, I went to law school and I chose this career over law school being a lawyer. So there has to be some merit to my strategy and I am making more in my year, early years as a marketer than I could even potentially make as a partner, as a lawyer. Um, and I'm working probably half or maybe a third of the amount those people are working. And I have a lot more benefits, which we're gonna get into. Okay, let's not wait any longer. Uh, let me just tell you a little bit more about me. I'm 36 years old. Um, from British Columbia, Canada, my whole life pretty much. Uh, I started early off with video production, high school, after high school I was into it, did a little bit of a two year program. Ended up going back to school because I didn't really know how to make money with videos and this was pre-YouTube. Went to law school, graduated from law school in Hong Kong. I actually went to one of the schools that was recently in the news due to the Hong Kong protests. So very interesting to see all that. I was really paying attention and concerned. I've been a digital marketing consultant since 2015, maybe late 2014, I got my very first SEO consulting client. Uh, so I've been doing this for a while, but I didn't get into it full time right away. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with it. And I was still learning a lot. I was still learning a lot, but that doesn't mean I wasn't willing to offer things while I was learning. I really enjoy StarCraft II, RTS video game, the only game I really play. Um, before that, I used to play online poker. Um, that's how I supported myself a lot in, in university. Um, let me just give you a really specific timeline related to me about content creation and digital marketing. So you can see if there's anything I did that maybe could really dramatically affect what you do or what you don't do. You know, So I was making videos at an early age. Now that's not what I'm talking about in this video, video creation, but I do utilize video creation throughout my work at times. Um, I was uploading to the internet before YouTube existed. I was making websites at at least age 17, if not earlier, if not earlier. Um, then I went to university, a more traditional path. Uh, I was studying sciences, but then I got into law school. I started taking that. Um, but I was becoming more and more unhappy. I didn't feel like being a lawyer was a great job. I didn't really know why I chose it beyond that I could potentially make over $100,000 and live a life I wanted. But as I studied more and more and spent more and more time with my law school compadres, I realized I didn't want to really be like them. Moved to Hong Kong uh, for my final year and transferred to law school there, uh, which was because my wife's family comes from Hong Kong. We wanted to be there for a while. This was really at the end of the golden days of Hong Kong, even maybe past. It was extremely crowded when I went there. Uh, the beginnings of the political uprises were starting when I was there. Uh, that's though where I kind of really learned SEO. Um, I started studying SEO around 2014, blogging and sort of thing, understanding how to rank web pages. This gave me very inspired actions. Once I did this, I started doing more things. Once I knew how to dabble with like SEO online, 
Um, and this is even pretty late, right? I wasn't the early adopter of SEO. Um, I just got more interested in it, so I was really inspired. Like I said, I had my first consulting client in 2014. I charged them $1,200, I just made that up. And I think I sat with their girl who did blogging for like three sessions and I explained how to organize your pages, your keywords, your URLs. I kind of struggled to understand anything beyond blogging though. I wasn't really grasping what it took to make money online. I mean, yes, I could consult about SEO, but I didn't really know how to turn that into online dollars really. I started making websites, WordPress websites for around $800, $1,200. They were very basic. I had no process. I didn't do mock-ups. I didn't do brand guidelines. I just listened to what people want. I tried to create it for them. We went back and forth. That was it. I started dabbling in affiliate marketing, which included like buying traffic and trying to convert it for affiliate products, which I failed, didn't make anything. Um, getting more and more back into video production as YouTube was arising, I was dabbling. I probably created like 20 different channels, like deleted a bunch of them, just trying things, right? Like not being afraid to try, but then also not really having a ton of skill and confidence to go make something with it all yet. Got into some alternative niches and like studying things in the black hat forums. Like I feel that there's a lot of digital marketing trends set in some of these alternative niches. Um, and so that was very fascinating. I never really did any black hat SEO stuff, but I found it interesting and entertaining to read the forums. Had a bit of a personal identity crisis around 2017. I deleted a lot of my social media. I was trying to decide like if I could use my last name going forward. It was just a very complicated last name. Um, I you see I don't have a really big following on some channels, but on some channels I do. Like sometimes I change the name, sometimes I delete it. Like just kind of really struggling with that. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if everyone kind of goes through that at some point with social media, especially if you're into marketing because you realize the power of a brand. And even though you may love yourself and have good self esteem. Steam, like you might realize that your name or your style or something about you isn't quite right and so you want to kind of remake it to be more successful and or you just don't like yourself and so being on social media makes you not like yourself and reflective on that and so don't be afraid or don't be don't be surprised if you meet some sort of identity crisis on your journey and just know that it will go away in time i feel very good about myself these days but before not so much um at this point, I'm you know I'm, I'm still offering websites, video, anything I could. Um, I started traveling to Southeast Asia more and not living in Canada anymore. It was cheaper, and I was I read the Four Hour Work Week, you know, and I wanted to kind of li I loved being at the beach. Um, I love the movie The Beach. It's so inspiring to me, like having that lifestyle where things are a bit different. I'm certainly an alternative person. Um, then I found Gary V, and I realized that a lot of the things I knew and told people were correct. Um, he was the first one that really gave me conviction that content and branding were the keys to success. Uh, I was convinced like there was some special Facebook magic, ad magic that I didn't know about or some special like SEO link building tricks I didn't know. Like I thought people were making money with a lot more unusual methods that I couldn't find because I wasn't the type to really... Uh, buy other people's courses. I didn't even know what courses there was really. I mean, I would read a little bit, but because I created content as a starting point, you kind of develop that interest in digital marketing through that avenue. You don't really come at it from a business lens at first. So Gary Vee was really useful, but I don't listen to him anymore. I found Dan Locke, who I don't really like, but he really helped me realize that like positioning yourself to the market and to people is very important and you do a lot of signals that you may not realize of how you're positioning yourself and i just kind of gain a better understanding also found grant cardone which i'm i don't mind him but he really taught me that like you should try and do things that are repeatable because that's where the value is gained over time you shouldn't keep starting again which I, i've done that before so in 2018, I officially started the Rich Niche Agency. It was under a different name before, and before I focused more on website design. This, I moved into more content and digital marketing. Uh, my offers were now more related to funnels and content, because at this point, I had figured out my 12-point audit checklist, and I knew from my own projects, if you don't have these things, like it doesn't work. So I felt pretty confident to go start offering that to people and especially like creating content for Facebook and YouTube and then repurposing that content for like articles, images and such. Um, once I got into this, within the first 18 months, I made my first 100,000. It wasn't too hard. It really grew pretty well. 
Um, I think I had my first 10K month in the first six months, but I think it was just because I had like two or three projects starting all at once. Um, but after like 12 months of those offers, I think I had like over 18 clients on the book. Some stayed on, some finished their projects and move on. And some came and went really quick. They weren't good matches. We, we didn't grow a good relationship. And that was because I like had a lot of inexperience, um, managing clients, talking to clients, project management systems. So I had the skill set of designing the funnels and making the content, but working with clients was then a new challenge. And so then I had to create a lot of new systems and processes about client management. All of this was word of mouth. So I didn't use digital marketing to gain my own clients. And I'm not sure you should either because the lead quality is much lower. And in digital marketing, you only need two, three, four, five clients and you want them to be like your best friends. You want to love spending time with them. In fact, the more you like them, the less you should charge them because your life is going to be better because you're working with people you actually like and chose rather than just not being able to say no to someone just because they're paying more. That's not a good sign. So I think this year I made about 120 to 150,000 um, all from digital marketing projects. I'll share more about that after. I think I have about less than a thousand a month total in all expenses and I have my own private dedicated server. I use Kartra. Both of those cost over 200 US a month. Um, so not everyone needs all that stuff at first. So your expenses when you start can be under a hundred a month. I think you don't need a lot to start and your clients should be paying for most of it. Like I raised my expenses when my clients start paying for it. So it's not like they're really my expensive. They're built into the fee. Oh, and uh, I don't outsource that much, but I do outsource and I look for very cost effective outsourcers. I look for people who believe in my values and want the remote capability more than the money. So some people ask me for premium. They're living in a big city. I'd rather work with someone who's trying to work from Bali or the Philippines or like Hawaii or Mexico and, and they, they don't need as much money, but they're willing to do a lot. I mean, that's good for me as a business owner and that's just what's worked so far. Okay, thank you for listening to that. Now, let me just have a quick sip of water. So what are the core benefits um, of a full stack marketing career? Well, as I've proven and showed from my own experience, you know, it is a high income skill set. You know, when I started, $75 an hour was very easy to ask for. And then so was 250 over time for my specialized consulting. Um, so it's very possible. It's really not the income. It's not the, the, the nature of the work. It's can you get enough clients month after month? But definitely I would consider this a high income skill set. And those people who say like high ticket closing, copywriting, like the Dan Locke pillars, like those might be high income if you ever find a client. Like it's very hard to find a copywriting client. A lot of that's done internally. A lot of that's done through agencies. It's hard to convince people you're a great copywriter. You know, it's a big overhaul to change all the copywriting. So I think marketing in a full stack mentality is the smart way to go. And no doubt, this is my favorite part about this whole career is that it's remote capable. I mean, I'm in my office today in my home, but I don't live in the city. I get way more for my money and I'll talk about that. Um, but being able to choose where you live is so valuable. Um, just really strong financial confidence because full stack marketing is really similar to online brand building. Like there's very similar crossover skills. And so you never really feel like you're going to be out of opportunities as a full stack marketer. Like my schedule is overbooked. Um, I, I don't know how I'm managing it. Like I do have to turn people away these days and, you know, tell them to wait. And when you have that ability to just add a client, that gives you a lot of confidence, right? So we'll talk more about that as well. Future proof, of course, big, big purpose of like, what is the point of choosing a career right now that's going to be replaced by automation or AI? Like this has to be a part of your strategic thinking. And Ikigai adaptive. Um, it just means that like, whatever your purpose is in life, full stack marketing can often support it. Whereas if your purpose in life is something like you know creative in in the hands or in the visual arts or with a certain industry you know is copywriting going to be able to support that 
is sales going to be able to support that necessarily? Like the good thing about full stack marketing is like you're advancing communications with the world. You're connecting with more people. So it's always going to be a good thing to connect more people with your life purpose, right? It's always going to be a good thing to reach more people to grow your network. So let's talk about how high income, how high it really is, right? I mean, let's get, try to be honest here. I want to be as honest as possible. I mean, I don't know the numbers to the detail, but I can give you very good estimates of what's happening in my life right now. The average client spends about 5,000 on their funnel development. I normally take three payments over 90 days. I finish it in 90 days typically, and I try to get them on a maintenance or an ongoing content package after that. I've managed up to 10 clients at once. It was not easy. That was more probably the most difficult time in my life. It was very stressful. But the nature of this stuff isn't about having tons of hours. Once you kind of know how to do it at once, there's a lot of things that can be done very quickly or automated. Your clients don't know about that. They're not paying for how fast it is. They're paying for the end development and is a very specialized expertise. So it's possible to do a lot at once with this. Um, I've earned over 100,000 in 2019 working less than 20 hours a week on client work. I say that's very, very, very true. Um, I don't work that much on clients, but I have to spend a lot of extra time um, on my own brand, on my own ideas, on my own work. Um, YouTube takes time, you know, creating products takes time. And I'm not counting in here all the products I created this year that will come to life next year. This is more of my service space, but I did a lot of digital products with people. I just supported them. It wasn't my product, and I'll definitely recoup from that in the future, but that's not a part of this. That's, that's, a, this, that's not the service I'm talking about. Um, average hourly rate, minimum 75, never less, US, and as high as 250 for single hourly consulting, um, and somewhere in the middle for everything else, depending on so many factors. Do you like the client? How long are they locked in for? You know, What are you actually doing? I'd say the average monthly retainer I keep is 1800 with clients. You know, once you get above 2000, they're really thinking hard, is it worth it? But under 2000, they can definitely keep it going as long as you're driving some results and really supporting them as a business and surprising and wowing them occasionally as well. Okay, so here's some proof of the money I made this year. And this is from my fresh books. So 51,000 in US dollars and 50,000 in Canadian. So I have both clients in Canada and the US and there looks like they're about evenly split. So it works out to be about, um, I'd say, you know, 92 to 95 US a year and about 115 to 120 a year um, Canadian. But this is just my FreshBooks invoices. This is not 100% of everything I earned. Here is all the credit card transactions I took. 88,000 and I paid, looks like um, 3,000 in fees for credit card fees. So we're gonna write that off as an expense, banking expense. So 88,000 in credit card fees, that doesn't include PayPal, that doesn't include Canadian e-transfer. So my Canadian clients, they like to pay by e-transfer and me too, because there's no fee, right? So here I'm taking like a 3%, 2% fee, which is annoying, but I'll tell you like Stripe and FreshBooks, they work flawlessly. And a lot of my clients are on re recurring monthly payments, what comes up month after month with ease. So I think that's enough proof. I mean, I'll be honest, like even if this was like 60,000, we should be really excited about it because like I said, and I'm gonna continue on, is this is remote income. I didn't have to go see anyone to earn this. I didn't have to be anywhere. I made the schedule. The client came to me on my schedule. I did the work on my schedule. I chose the clients. I said yes to the clients. I worked at home, I worked at the coffee shop, I worked in Bali. When you can control the who, what, where, when of your work, you don't even need to make 100K, guys. You don't. It's, you don't need, you, you'll be happier that you have the who, what, where, when availability, the control with 60K than making 150 where you gotta show up nine to five every single day. You don't pick your boss or your teammates. You have to commute. I don't commute, guys. Like I'm saving way more time than commuters. So my life is just simpler. 
It's that simple, guys. And this is a life strategy. I got into this business because of the lifestyle design. I said to myself, how do I create the lifestyle? What does it take? And to me, this was it. And that's why I went into this. Okay, expenses, right? Because it's not what you make, it's what you keep. Well, I'd say I spent about 20K in business expenses this year, outsourcing people and to help me on certain projects that I couldn't do alone, and about 8,000 a year in tools. Now, I started spending way more money in tools as the year went on, as I got more and more clients, they are paying for it essentially, right? Like. I'm telling them we need these tools, they come and pay. Now, I have tons of tools where once it's paid for, every client can take advantage of it. It's amazing to have that and offer that kind of stuff. Thank you so much for hanging me in there with me at 20 minute mark. I'd say we got another 20 minutes to go. But like I said, if you don't got the time, if this doesn't mean anything to you, okay, no problem. But hang in there with me, it's all gonna make sense. Tax advantages. You know, you can write off your computer equipment, which you can use for other things. You can write off social media and content tools, camera. You can write off travel if you go create content for your client for an advertising campaign. You can write off a portion of your home office. Just integration here, guys. Again, lifestyle design first, then pick the way you make your money. Too many people pick their job because they're desperate. They come out of university. They don't know what they're doing in life. They pick a job that they think it's good, and then they're locked into the city, the skill set, the team, the organization, and, and they don't become as valuable, and um, they have trouble getting unlocked from that. So you know there's a diff multiple ways to make 100K a year, right guys? Like I just wrote this down for the ease of yourself. You need 8,333 a month, okay? And probably the easiest way to do this is gonna be having four clients around the 2,000 or three clients around the 27. Or if you're lucky, um, you know, somewhere in between this with at least one client paying, you know, 4K and up, right? You should have your one premium client, but again, never relying on one single client because then you can't say no. So it really depends if you have variable offers, it depends if you have one single offer. I recommend tiered offers, right guys? So you should have an 833 plan a month. You should have a 1999 plan a month and you should have a 4999 plan a month. Those are just different levels. Let the business decider choose, okay? But like I've said, money is not the sole reason to choose this profession, guys. Like it's good, but it, I don't think you're choosing it for the money, right? It's not that hard to achieve 100K for many other jobs and professions if you're dedicated, like lawyer, accountant, engineer, you know, investment banker, doctor, many ways. I don't even know them, I don't really look. But, but what about remote capable income? Like, what are you willing to do to be remote? Like, what are you willing to do to take a vacation anytime you want? Right? Here's a picture of me in Cold Valley. I live out in this fishing town, about 40 minutes from Vancouver. Just beautiful scenery everywhere you go. Uh, this is me out in the forest cooking some mushrooms that we just freshly picked. Uh, really fun times. You know, life isn't about always being in the big city and like, go, go, go. Don't you wanna breathe some fresh air? Don't you wanna see the mountains, the ocean? I mean, I do. And that's why I didn't wanna be locked into a city job. And um, yeah, I really believe that having that remote possibility is the value. I don't necessarily believe you gotta be a digital nomad hustling and traveling all year round. In fact, I like to be based. My ideal is living in Canada most of the year. It's pretty good in the summertime, spring, fall but to travel during the winter to get away from the cold and enjoy some experiences. Like traveling all year round has some major disadvantages. One, you can't stop, right? You can't relax, right? It's very hard because you're always facing visa issues. You need to keep booking Airbnbs and worried about that. You're worried about your stuff. You don't have as much safety. You know, you don't have transportation as easily typically. Um, you don't have as much support, friends and family. So there's lots of downsides. I mean, it's amazing to go travel for a year and make money while you're doing it. I mean, I did the same. I, I think that's amazing. But I don't think now that I'm 35, 36, uh, I need to really think like that. But what I do want to think like is I don't want to have to ask for a vacation. I want to be able to go when I want to go. And if I want to work while I'm there, I can. So what does this mean is like, if you think it's worth it to be remote capable, you gotta say no to like the restrictive work. You have to say no to the clients who want you to be somewhere. Otherwise this doesn't work, right? You have to be disciplined in that sense. And 
The reason to be able to say no and have this remote capability is like having this full stack to learn this ability. Um, we can do so much. We can be so valuable. We can get clients easier because more clients need us. We could do more once we have the client. And also we can help many rather than just helping a few. So is full stack marketing remote capable? Yes. It's very laptop focused if you want, right? It can be. Additional screens are very useful, but not critical. I use more so additional screens in creation, video production, something like this. I have a couple screens here, but for writing copies, setting up funnels, doing emails, I think like laptop is perfectly fine. And I do a lot on my iPhone and iPad, right? You can connect to a lot of different apps now with a device. I think video is the biggest challenge to do remotely because you can't carry all the drives and content with you easily. But I mean, G Suite for business has unlimited storage now. Um, you know, you can share big files if you need to, but then you're challenged with having a strong internet connection, which you don't always have if you're traveling. But it's not impossible to overcome. And, and my number one outsource is a video editor. And like I said, remote capable doesn't equal digital nomad constant travel. It's a benefit that you have more freedom. You don't have to be traveling all the time. You choose to live and work where you please at any time. And it's that feeling that if you had to go, you could, that's what's awesome. Financial confidence. This is really a big, big, big benefit. People don't know about the word financial confidence yet. Because people thought about financial freedom for a really long time, but people realize like you're never free because if you don't know how long you're going to live, you don't know how much money you need. So you have to keep making more money. So retirement is a dumb idea. You need assets to have when you're getting older. You need things to appreciate or you got to make a lot more money right now. No such thing as financial freedom. World could collapse. Bank could collapse. You've seen this possibility. Anything could change for you. You could have a life trauma. You could have a crisis. There'll be global shifts. So it's a confidence you want, okay? You don't need millions in the bank, and let's face it, you don't have that. You need to know you can make an additional 5K next month if you really have to. That's financial confidence. Do you have that or not? That's a big question to ask because if you don't, you can't protect yourself in a changing world. That is my belief. You need to know that if you lost everything today, you could start right back up. If I lost everything, if my whole house got robbed, if I lost every single client, Yes, I might go do some, you know, DoorDash or Uber to make some cash right now, keep my freedom, but I would immediately build a new website. I would immediately find some new clients. I would immediately start creating content for them. I would immediately start building my own funnels, like no problem because there, there's no limit to the funnels you can make, right? It doesn't matter how good you are even, you can always have more funnels that make you more money or you can always spend more time with one funnel and make it better, right? That's where we're going with all this. So full stack marketing, really helpful for financial confidence. Typical job, no financial confidence because you, A, you could be fired. And like, do you know you can get another job of that type when there's so many people looking for jobs? Like you wanna go out of that saturated job mentality and you wanna be fearless in a scary freelance type world. Like, yes, it's kind of scary and it should be, okay? I don't know what's crazier than taking full responsibility for your own income, but my God, it's the greatest feeling in the world. Future proof. I think we're getting our rhythm here, guys. It's not the same as financial confidence, but it's similar, okay? Financial confidence means I can make money when I need to, skills plus courage. Future proof equals my skills grow in value instead of weaken over time, which can lead to more financial confidence. What's not future proof? Jobs done on a checklist. If you do your job by a checklist, you could be very, very careful. That's how you can automate. Jobs with numbers, calculations, reports, and analysis. AI getting very, very strong in these areas. Short-term trend arbitrage. It's not very future-proof. It could make money like selling fidget spinners on Amazon, something like that. What is future-proof? Creative work, base work that drives business results, human communication, authentic sales, design, conceptual, strategy, Branding, these things are all very future-proof. There's an element of creativity and critical thinking you cannot replace. There's a picture with one of my bigger clients. Um, he's a doctor and behind him is another doctor. These guys are some of the world's best surgeons. They need help marketing their services and events, big money. 
Never stop making videos. Tweeted that one a while back. Follow me on Twitter at Rich and Niche or Instagram. You know, full stack marketing is the art and science of culture hacking in a digital generation. Because so much of our minds are online, our attention is online, culture is online. And we hack that by creating media, products, funnels, and user experiences for these digital users. That's what full stack marketing kind of is. It's very balanced, left brain, right brain, and you have to understand culture and human behavior in the world today. So the full stack marketer, high income, no ceiling, remote capable, financially confident, future proof. These are the benefits I want. This is why I created this. And this is why I have the confidence to make all this for you guys because I know this is right. Okay, I've felt it myself. I believe anyone could go down this path. I don't know how fast necessarily, but this is really powerful. Also given that it's Ikigai adaptive we're going to get into right now because even if you had all of that even if you had all this would it really matter if you're unhappy right no it wouldn't matter that's why ikigai is still important ikigai is the top level before you think about high income before you think about remote capable you need a reason to wake up in the morning and that's what ikigai means like you get up i get up every day before seven no problem because i know why i'm getting up i know what i got to do I gotta get to this computer, I gotta serve my audience, I have to serve my clients, and I have to improve myself week after week. So what is Ikigai? It's the cross section of four things, passion, profession, mission, and vocation. In a nutshell, you gotta be good at what you do, you like what you do, people pay you for what you do, and your work impacts the world for good. So why is this great with digital marketing, full stack marketing? Well, once you get good at it, you know, people are going to pay you for it because it's an in-demand service and it's growing, okay? It's growing heavily. You're probably going to like it because of all those benefits. You know, you don't have a shitty boss. You get to do what you want. It's a little bit creative. And you can choose clients who are impacting the world in a way that you like. All of my clients have very high value sets. They care about people and that's a prerequisite for working with me. I mean, I don't want people working with me who sell garbage. I must look at your product before I promote it. You know, and that's an important thing as a marketer. The second you don't like the product, your your results are gonna start falling. So, okay, now that you know why you should do this, let me tell you how to do this, okay? And let me tell you exactly what I did and how I can help you do this. So what does it take to become a full stack marketer? I love the term escape and arrival. Where do you go from? Where are you gonna be later on? Arriving. So let's talk about the pillars. I don't know why it says high income there. I guess, yeah, I guess that makes sense. In order to get that high income, you can't just be creative. You can't just do some numbers and analytics. You can't just be a manager. You wanna combine the three, management, math, and media. Here's a picture of me taking a picture of some water, it seems, and those are some of my students from an in-person workshop I did for um, content marketing. Those are all YouTubers. So, it looks like this, right? In a full stack marketer, your project management oversees everything. You need to be good at that. The math is building out a funnel. It's very scientific. And conversion ops rate optimization, very numbers oriented, that, that's where the math comes in. It's not about doing math problems, it's math-esque. Just made the three M's to make this easier, guys, come on. Media, that's the content and that's the advertising. So you get the three M's, you're gonna have a lot of success. Okay, there's a picture of me, a little composite I had done. So here's where you're escaping from, right? I have a feeling this is you. No clear offer or service yet in the marketing world. Maybe you have a weak offering. Maybe you kind of offer something. Maybe you change your price all the time. Your skills are average or below. You've not yet def- developed that high um, performance marketing skill set. You're not even certain of what you don't know about this business. Like you don't know what you aren't learning, which you might be missing. You're probably not making enough money. You don't have enough clients. And you probably don't feel that confident about building an online business yet. You don't know all the pieces. And where would you like to arrive? high income above average skill set making two grand a month from three to five clients being remote capable financially confident living your ikigai this is me guys this is me and you can grow or improve any online business this is where i want you to get to okay 
I'm not, this is not about building an agency. This is not about making seven figures yet. This is about making sure you're living the life that you want to create. And if, and if these values are important for you, please listen very carefully to the next part because I'm going to outline the exact steps it takes to escape and arrive. Okay? And that's what people want. Transformation. That's what you want. You want to arrive at this space. From here, everything becomes possible. You have enough money to do what you want, to live an okay life, to eat healthy, to take care of yourself. You have the freedom to do other projects or move or shift or do what you need to do. To, hey, I've had some family members that passed away. Do you know how beneficial it was to spend all my time with them? Very valuable. We can't forget about these intangibles. Here it is, guys, the pathway. You want to escape and arrive? Go learn this 10 things. Let's go through them mindset. Of course you need mindset. You have to even believe that marketing works just to begin. There's plenty of people who do not believe marketing works. Ignore them. Do not take them as your clients. Okay, it works. Then you have to understand marketing theory. Like what are the inner workings of the marketing psychology? Why does it work? What's being done? You have to begin to understand user experience and putting things in a pathway for people so that they can have a great experience with your business or brand. Okay? That's a vague term. Don't worry about it for now. Funnel design and optimization. You know, you got to build a vehicle that's going to create these business transactions. You have to be able to design it, build it, and optimize it. We just design doesn't get made. If we just build, it might not be perfect. It might not make that much money. But if we can also optimize what we build, we can continually improve our funnel, make more money. One of the key aspects that I believe has made me successful is being a great lead magnet designer. It's not hard. It's a lot in the mind of how to craft it. It's very easy to actually produce it. It's not as hard as people think. But understanding what is the right lead magnet is so critical in making sure that top of the funnel lead generation component is really thriving. Because the leads are coming in weak, unqualified, the rest of the system doesn't work too well. That's from my experience. So I focused a lot on lead magnet. You need to know a bit about modern copywriting. It's very simple, guys. You write about the benefits of things, not the features. You don't write about how strong the engine is. You write about how far and fast it can go. Okay, and you'll get to your end date faster and you'll be stronger and more respect. Okay, because you have a powerful engine or some shit. You need to know some email automation right? Like if you don't understand how emails are automated and triggered and sent and organized and designed and crafted and strategized, like you're not going to get that high conversion rate that a marketer looks for. You can get the traffic to the website once, but how do you keep getting them back? How do you bring them back? How do you increase that conversion rate? How do you nurture them? You need to have an understanding of analytics tracking. How do we actually track our marketing funnels and the results a business is going to want to know the results of what's being done. You got to understand how to track that. I recommend to become, you, you could stop here and you could be called a digital marketer. Well, if you want to go full stack, front to back, end to end, high income, future proof, you, you should work into these last two as well. Content creation workflows, either get good at video or get good at articles or get good at pictures or get good at audio, or get good at them all. But those are the front end components and those also permeate throughout the whole funnel. Content is throughout the whole funnel. You need content. You need front end awareness based content. You need sales driven content videos. You need copywriting. You need nice quality images and mockups. Like there's a million reasons why you need content. And then you need to know how to paid, buy paid media on Facebook, Google, YouTube, etc. That's it. That is it guys, even though that's a lot. It's all very doable. It's all very doable. And I want to show you now what I've created for you so that you can begin to do this right now. So for the last few months, I've been putting a lot of content on YouTube, but I've also been creating two workshops. And the first workshop is going to be available this January 2020, fully there. Okay, this is the most impactful workshop I could think of. And I'm going to go into details in a bit, but I just want to first say this is, 
I first use this pathway, which I've done my own self. I went on this pathway. I do know all these things. I could speak about all these things at an expert level. And it's not that hard. It just takes a bit of time to learn them all. And so that's why I placed it in this means. And now I've designed my offerings to help you based on it. Okay, so as you can see in the yellow, the full stack marketing funnels workshop is the workshop I'm talking about. And this is where I'm going to teach you about user experience, funnel build design and optimize, lead magnet design. I'm going to teach you modern copywriting, email animation, analytics tracking, all of it. You're going to know all of it. This is the core essentials of digital marketing. And if you already watch my YouTube videos, then you know a lot about some theory and some mindset. And then in later in the year, I'll release another workshop on content creation workflows and paid media buying. I might put those in mini courses. I don't know. I might do one big workshop. I might do both. But they are separate. You have to do them separate. They're too vast to be all at once. And not everyone needs to do content, right? You could outsource your content. You could work with someone else. You just don't have to do content, but really that makes it the full stack. That front end experience is often content driven. So how does this you know, all come to be? And the implementation engine, I wanna create something that you can do step by step and you can learn all of this because there's no point in me just telling it to you. You have to go do it, okay? So this is what brings me to the Rich Niche Academy. Become a better freelance marketer. And now I'm going to show you guys uh, my new website, which is richandnicheacademy.com. Mastering the Chaotic Art and Science of Digital Marketing. Come to my website. I'll link it below. Um, I focused heavily on the same benefits that I just told you about. Remote capability, no income ceiling, future proof. You can read a little bit about my story, which I already told you. And here are my upcoming programs as I just explained them. Full Stack Marketing Funnels, which starts officially January 20th, 2020. Full Stack Content Maximizer later on next year. And I'm also going to be doing a virtual summit called Remote Life, where we're going to interview a bunch of people doing remote work. Many of them will be full stack marketers, and uh, they're going to be sharing all about their experiences so you can learn to be more remote capable. But let's specifically talk about the Full Stack Marketing Funnels workshop, which you can click on this blue button, um, and we'll bring you over to the sales page. I'm going to spend some time on this sales page with you right now. You can go read it word for word on your own. But since you're already here, I'm just gonna walk you through it and explain all of the core parts so that there's no questions asked. This is a workshop designed to get you an outcome, something you could sell to other people or build yourself. I'm gonna teach you the essence of digital marketing, which is designing, building, and optimizing a marketing funnel. If you can't do this, you're going nowhere in marketing. And I'm gonna teach you to do it for a brand or an influencer and how it really takes less than eight weeks to comprehend all of these things and actually go through my implementation engine. So I've built something for you to go put all of the steps in place. Let me go through this uh, just real quick here. Here's my personal story. I already told it to you in this workshop and this workshop is called Full Stack Marketing Funnels. It's eight week virtual workshop and it's going to teach you a complete agency level workflow that you can package and sell on your own. You know, here are the essential outcomes. You're going to be building a funnel on WordPress. Why WordPress? Well, it's free and it's a great place to learn and start. But I'll also give you a peek into some of the other uh, tools such as Kartra, ClickFunnels. You'll be learning to design a downloadable PDF lead magnet. This is so important in modern marketing. If you can do this, you can become so valuable to companies. Most people cannot identify what is the proper lead magnet. I'm going to give you a foolproof way on how to design them. You're going to learn how to integrate everything with an email autoresponder, and we're going to use MailChimp because it's low cost and even free to start, so you can understand how email automation works. I'm going to teach you how to track the results with an analytics dashboard, Google Analytics, pretty basic stuff, but most people don't know it. We're going to go through that. I'm going to learn how to optimize your funnel so you can improve conversion rates. This is so, so critical, and this is part of that ongoing ability to make money from clients and convince them, hey, listen, we're not done yet. We got to keep paying, keep investing, keep growing. And I'm going to teach you the rationale for each strategic decision. You're going to understand that the rich and niche marketing strategy is very best practice based and not as much guessing as you think. You will be able to apply the similar strategies I apply and they'll work for your clients. Inside this course, there's over 45 videos. I think there's going to be 55 by the time I'm done. And, um, 
30-page fillable PDF workbook as well, and there's also live office hours. Here's the main things you're gonna learn inside the workshop. Digital marketing theory, funnel design, funnel engineering, lead magnet design, email automation, copywriting, funnel optimization, funnel analytics, and project management. Here's the 30 page workbook mock-up. It's an original workbook I've created that you can fill out online. You don't need to print it. And then you can use this same workbook with every client you work with because it's a great way to store all of that brand info. It's not lost everywhere. And you can even show your client this too. Um, and they'd be like, wow, that's really impressive, cool. So how does office hours work? So let's say you get stuck in the course because the course is self-driven. You take yourself through the course over the eight weeks, your own pace. Um, you're going to get office hours with me though. So every Thursday and Sunday I have office hours. You can come in, uh, let me know you have a question, ask your question on the Zoom call. You don't have to show your face if you don't want. I recommend you do and communicate with me clearly through video, but uh, you can just ask your question and I'll walk you through the problem you're having. Maybe I'll do a screen share. Maybe I'll just explain it. Maybe I'll get you to open your screen and show me what you're doing. Uh, so you're never going to get blocked. And this is a very powerful part of the course and what makes it more valuable than just a course you're left on your own. So you are going to notice my courses aren't as cheap as sort of some Udemy courses because they're really like group coaching, right? It's very valuable to have me at your disposal. You're going to unlock your true potential with these digital marketing skills. So let me explain why this course is also unique. I will give you a website to work on, to practice on, and to implement the things I tell you. You can also buy your own domain, and we'll talk about that during your onboarding call, what you want to do. Um, you get the workbook, like I said. And so you're going to feel really confident because you're going to actually implement every step. I started running this workshop a while back, and that was the number one people thing people said. They said, Rich, if I can do it, I'll be able to repeat it. So make sure you show me how to do each and everything, right? So that's a very important part of this course. Uh, going through some benefits here, we've really already talked about that on the webinar. Some of my students, testimonials, why is Rich's course gold? The information is invaluable, but it's nothing without the energy which catalyzes change. You only get the ability to, you won't just get the ability to build a funnel, but the key to unlock your own journey. I've been learning online for 13 years already. I can tell you that Rich's insights of practitioner are rare and highly valuable. I was able to quickly learn how to build a, build a funnel for my own consulting brand as well as offer the service to other people in my industry. Got some really great, powerful video courses. Taking Rich's course made me feel so alive and empowered. Gives you um, the ability to, to apply it yourself, which is truly remarkable. Go through all that, guys. Here's some more frequently asked questions. Is there a money back guarantee? Yes. After January 20th, you have 14 days to decide if the course is right for you. If not, um, let me know, just email me and you get your money back full amount and you'll just, you'll be taken out of the course. No big deal. It's not right for everyone. It's okay. I understand. Uh, prereqs, not really speak English, understand English and have a computer. You get access to the materials forever. I'm not going to take them away, but the office hours ends after 12 weeks for you. Once you purchase yet, you don't have to attend office hours. Uh, but if you don't know how to do something, you do it. Is the course drip fed? Yes and no. You get most of it right away, but to prevent overload, I do restrict some of the later content and I recommend you don't do more than one or two modules a week. Uh, you will get overwhelmed. Is there any additional cost? Like do you have to invest in anything? Do you have to buy anything to start this? I can't always say 100% there's no additional costs. There may be up to 30, 40, $50 in additional costs during this course. It depends on what tools you decide to use. I'm going to try and show 100% of free tools. The problem is, is that by the time you take the course, the tools may have changed. At the time of making this video, I believe your fee for the course will cover everything. I don't think there's any additional costs. But as a digital marketer, you will have some ongoing expenses later on in your career for the tools and software you use. That's really all it is. The videos are just basically like my YouTube videos where I talk. It's like this, where I have a screen share. Um, is there any certification? No, not at this time. So let's go back over everything you're getting. Lifetime access to the funnel training, 45 videos. You get an onboarding call with me where I'm going to get you set up. You can ask me a few questions. You get access to my office hours for three months or 12 weeks. You get, at, you get my brand building workbook, that yellow PDF, which I showed you, which is just super awesome. You're going to get access to the collective, which is my private network. Um, this is very 
special on its own. You can come join like a lot of other digital marketers, ask questions, and this is the place where you can stay connected with me after the course. So you're gonna get access to this ongoing. It says 90 day access, but the truth is all my workshop students get lifetime access to all this stuff. I should change this to be a bit more specific. And of course, the money back guarantee. Total program value, $6,600. I 100% believe it's worth this much. Guys, I've put in many, many years to develop all this information. And then I've put this entire year to create this curriculum, to build this course, to make the videos, to make the workbook, to build the website. I've hired people like there's substantial life-changing value and you will absolutely have a transformative experience if you take this program. You will begin that process of escape and arrival and I am only charging $750 for this workshop, which is truly insane. It really is. Um, I don't know what else to say. I, I, I don't want people asking me for discounts because this is already incredible. I know what else is out there and this is a fair price. I wanna get students, but I wanna make it fair. I want people to have this skill set. If I could have purchased this for 750, I would have done it in a heartbeat if I had known what I didn't know. And that's a problem is maybe you don't know what you didn't know. And, and you might not know what I know. And I understand that. That's why there's a two week trial. If you don't like it, it's not for you. But I can't think of anything better that could help you achieve the goal of becoming a full stack marketer, achieve the goal of becoming remote capable, making $100,000 in a year, which maybe you never dreamed of. I believe this is all possible. And I wouldn't say it if I didn't believe it. You know me as one of the most honest and authentic marketers out there. And I feel that this is no different. So if this is right for you, add it to cart. You go to the next page. You put your credit card info. You're good to go. All right, guys, that's really the end of this video. Looks like we hit 51 minutes, not too bad. Typical webinar length, but you know, there's no opt-in for this. This was free and you know, there's a ton of value in here. So check out Full Stack Marketing Funnels if you think that this is right for you. If you think everything I talked about makes sense, this is your life strategy, then this is the course for you. If 2020 is the year where you become a full stack marketer, where you increase your income, maybe where you leave your job even. I really don't like to tell people to leave your job. I believe you should do a transition because I believe marketing can be done after hours and a lot of times on hours. Um, let's face it, like every time I ever had a job before this, I was always tinkering with things like writing blog posts, like bad stuff on the job. But uh, you know how it is when you're an entrepreneur, you're an entrepreneur, you're doing everything you can to get out. I don't blame you guys. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you for all the support on the YouTube videos. Thanks for all the great comments, emails I get from people who are having success from my content, who are inspired and learning. You know, this has really changed my life, this whole experience, being able to have an audience. It feels amazing. I don't take it lightly. Um, I wanna bring continued value and I'm trying to also create paid programs so you can accelerate your process. I have no doubt that in, by the next two years, all this info I have will somehow come out on YouTube. It will all be free somewhere and somehow. And you know, you can piece a lot of this together on your own trial and error. I had developed the 12 week um, marketing funnel audit from my own trial and error. And it was until I completed those 12 things where I was like, okay, this is where I'm starting to get results and sales and success. You can go do that too. You can go develop your own funnel audit. You can steal my audit. You can try and go figure it all out. but. This is no doubt the absolute fast track. And uh, I believe anyone who joins is gonna also receive insane value um, from being a part of my network. You know, guys, like you're gonna get to join me and a group of other brand builders and marketers, and we're all talking about the same stuff. And don't forget, I also put a lot of exclusive content into that collective area, which isn't gonna make it to YouTube. You know why? Whether it's client related, whether it's my teammate related, they don't necessarily want it on YouTube. It's okay in our inner circle, in our collective. Everything stays kind of private in there. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If uh, this means something to you, I, I won't let you down, okay? See you next time.